Hey friends, welcome back to Civil Engineering Mastery. In this video, we are going to discuss about bar bending schedule of a column. Column is one of the major structural member. So, it is very important to know how we have to calculate the steel quantity of a column. So, let's discuss how we can calculate the steel quantity for a column with detailed explanation. Without further delay, let's begin now. Let's start with the column reinforcement details. If you look into this table, we have the column reinforcement details. Here it is mentioned as foundation to first floor. That means the foundation to the first floor, this will be the reinforcement details. The concrete mix is M25 and lateral tie reinforcement is given here. And main bar reinforcement is given here. And this is the reinforcement arrangement. In column, we have two types of reinforcement. One is the main bar and another one is the lateral ties. Let's look into detail. This is the main bar or longitudinal bar. The main bars are provided around the column in order to resist the axial load which is coming on the column. And this is the lateral ties or transverse reinforcement which is used to tie the longitudinal bars in position and also if any shear force is there it helps to resist the shear force as well and also it helps to resist the lateral loads these two are the types of reinforcement which we use in columns now let's look into the column detail in this drawing see here you have the longitudinal bar as i told you before this is the main bar and these are all the lateral ties if you look into this table, the reinforcement arrangement will be like this. See, the column dimensions are given here. 200 by 450 is the column dimension. So, in this column, we have 8 number of 16 mm dia bar. So, these 8 number of 16 mm dia bars are the main bars which is specifically provided for this column. For column C1, this is the reinforcement details. And why 8 to 200 mm center to center? That means 8 mm is the die off bar, 200 is the spacing. This is for the lateral ties. Lateral ties are like this. So, here we have two types of lateral tie. One is the larger one and one is the smaller one. This, this is covering the outer bars and this one is covering the inner bars. And in some cases, we will be having different in diameter of longitudinal bar means 4 number of 16 mm bar and 4 number of 12 mm bar. So, here the outer bars are the 16 mm dia bar and the inner bars are the 12 mm dia bars. Let us take this column C1 and let us calculate the steel quantity. So, before calculating we should know what and all we need to calculate. First one is length of longitudinal bar, second one is number of lateral ties and then cutting length of a lateral tie. And finally, we need to calculate total weight of the steel reinforcement. First, let us start calculating the length of longitudinal bar. To calculate the length of the longitudinal bar, first we have to know the height of the column. So, from foundation till ground level, it is 1500 mm. Till the floor level, we have 3200 mm. So, length is equal to 1500 plus 3200 plus 2000. 40 multiplied by 16. This is the development length. 40 times dia is the development length. So, this we have to calculate. Add with the length and then and then in the footing we have to give minimum 300 mm as a aggregate. This length also need to be calculated. 40 dia plus 300 this we have to add minus this total length we have taken as 1500 mm right. So, from this we have to deduct the footing cover and the footing reinforcement diameter. So, this is 10 mm bar, this uh, this is 10 mm bar and this is 10 mm bar. That is why here 10 plus 10 is the dia of the footing reinforcement and 50 is the clear cover for footing. So, this we have to deduct from the length. We get 5570 mm as the length of longitudinal bar. So, we have completed calculating the length of longitudinal bar. Next, we need to calculate the number of lateral ties. So, we are calculating the lateral ties for this length, total length. In this, we have to deduct the development length and this length. 
while calculating the length of longitudinal bar we have added this one 40 times dia and then 300 mm this we have to deduct from this length and then divided by spacing we know the number of uh, sorry we know the spacing for the lateral ties is 200 mm center to center so length divided by spacing plus 1 is the number of lateral ties so we get approximately 25 numbers next let's look into the cutting length of a lateral tie here we have the lateral tie arrangement like this this is number 1 arrangement and this is number 2 arrangement okay so first we are going to find out the cutting length for this lateral tie lateral tie number 1 okay so that's what i have given here as cutting length 1 so to calculate the cutting length the formula is 2 into b plus d it is very simple here b is the shorter dimension and d is the longer dimension so this length we have to add this length we have to add and again this and this so 2 into b plus d like perimeter we have to take and then in addition to that we have to add the hook length because this is the hook length this we have to add and my and we have to deduct the bend as per code we have the deductions for bend 90 degree bend and 135 degree bend we have deductions that also we will do so first we have to calculate the breadth we cannot take 200 because we have to deduct the cover clear cover for column that is 40 mm so 200 minus 2 into 40 plus 2 into 8 2 into 8 is the diameter this uh, lateral tie diameter so 40 minus 2 into 8 we have to take clear cover plus this diameter we have to deduct from this width so we get 136 mm similarly the same applies for the longer dimension as well 450 minus 2 into 40 2 into 40 is the clear cover this side clear cover and this side clear cover and then this dia we have to deduct 2 into 8 so we get 386 mm we have calculated the b and d length now let's apply in this formula 2 multiplied by b is 136 and d is 386 plus hook length hook length we have to add since we are calculating the cutting length for this uh, longer uh, tie these two hook length we have to add to calculate the hook length 10 times dia we have to take 10, 10 multiplied by 8 into 2 2 hooks are there so 10 multiplied by 8 10 times dia multiplied by 2 minus bend 2 into 8 into 3 for 135 degree bend it is 10 times dia for 90 degree bend it is 2 times dia if you take this lateral tie this side hook length is added and this side 1 2 3 3 bends are there so 3 90 degree bend for 90 degree bend we have to take 2 times dia so that is why here 2 times dia and 3 bends are there 2 multiplied by 8 multiplied by 3 so we have calculated the cutting length for this lateral tie 1 that is 1156 mm next we have to calculate the cutting length for this lateral tie okay so the same formula applies over here b is same only because b is same as we have calculated before here we have to calculate the depth depth is depth is not the full depth right so only for this area we have to calculate so in that case 450 minus 2 into 40 divided by 3 450 is the total depth and cover clear cover we have to deduct and then if you take this spacing number of bars number of bars are 4 and spacing is 1 2 3 so we have to divide by 3 so that we will get this one spacing length that is 123.33 mm so we have to calculate this length plus 2 into 16 2 into 16 is the diameter these two diameter we have to include plus 2 into 8 that is lateral tie diameter 2 into 16 that is the longitudinal bar diameter and 2 into 8 that is lateral tie diameter so this we have to add with this depth so finally we get 171.33 mm and this dimension we can apply in this formula 2 multiplied by b plus d plus hook length hook length as i told you before 
10 times dia we have two hooks over here so 10 multiplied by 8 multiplied by 2 minus bend we have to deduct as we have discussed before for this lateral tie also we have three bends 1 2 3 3 90 degree bends are there so 2 times dia we have to take 2 multiplied by 8 multiplied by 3 so finally we get 421.33 mm as the cutting length for the lateral tie so now we have calculated the length of longitudinal bar number of lateral ties and cutting length of a lateral ties finally we have to calculate the total weight of steel reinforcement this let's do it in the excel sheet here we have the specifications first uh, column number and then bar type longitudinal bar lateral tie 1 lateral tie 2 and shape of the bar column width we can enter as 200 column depth is 450 mm same we can enter over here dia is 16 mm for longitudinal bar and 8 mm for lateral ties and then spacing it is applied to lateral ties that is 200 mm number of bars for longitudinal bar 8 numbers and for lateral ties we have to find out this one just we can cut and paste it over here because we need we need to calculate the cutting length first and then number of bars so to calculate the cutting length of this longitudinal bar as we know we have seen the cutting length in the AutoCAD uh, drawing as 1500 plus 3200 plus 40 times dia plus 300 minus the footing uh, reinforcement bars deductions so let's apply that one 1500 plus 3200 plus 40 multiplied by 16 plus 300 mm minus footing dia bar footing reinforcement deduction 10 plus 10 plus 50 is the clear cover of the footing 5570 mm as the cutting length let's divide this one with 1000 to get in meters 5.57 is the cutting length for longitudinal bar 8 number of bars we have provided and we have to calculate the total cutting length total cutting length will be the cutting length of one bar multiplied by the number of bars so we get 44.56 meter as the total cutting length of longitudinal bars and here we have to find out the d square by 162 d is the diameter divided by 162 1.58 is the conversion from running meter to kgs for 8 mm bar d square by 162 is 0.395 so weight of steel we get it 70.416 kg for longitudinal bar here in this way we can separately we can take the steel quantity so instead of 12 mm bar here i am adding 16 mm bar and then let's add this weight total weight so weight of 16 mm bar is this much only here also we can add some weight of 16 mm bar we got it as 70.416 kg next let's do the calculation for the lateral ties lateral tie 1 we have to find out the cutting length next let's calculate the number of lateral ties number of lateral ties is this length minus 40 times 16 plus 300 divided by 200 is the spacing spacing we can take it from here so this values and all is in mm only so we what we can do here we can multiply this with mm with 1000 to get the proper value so we get the number of bars as 23.15 finally we can make it round it off with the steel quantity so the same applies over here here you have to change this one because the cutting length will be same for all the lateral ties lateral tie 1 lateral tie 2 the longitudinal bar length will be same so here we have to change this one we know the number of bars now let's calculate the cutting length so for cut calculating the cutting length let's take this values directly 2 into 136 plus 386 answer plus this plus 10 into 8 into 2 minus 
टू इंटू एट इंटू थ्री दिस इज डिडक्शन बेन्ड डिडक्शन वी एंटर दिस वी गेट इन एम एम दिस वी कैन डिवाइड विथ थाउजेंड टू गेट इट इन मीटर्स सो लेंथ ऑफ वन लैटरल टई इज वन पॉइंट वन फाइव सिक्स मीटर एंड वी कैन डू द सेम फॉर्मुला हियर लेंथ मल्टीप्लाइड बै नंबर ऑफ बार्स विल गिव यू द टोटल कटिंग लेंथ एंड यू गेट द टोटल वेट ऑफ स्टील क्वांटिटी वी गेट द वेट ऑफ स्टील क्वांटिटी नेक्स्ट लेट्स ऐड द कटिंग लेंथ फॉर्मुला अगेन लेट्स जस्ट कॉपी दिस एंड देन पेस्ट इट ओवर हियर फॉर सी एल टू इट इज टू इंटू वन थर्टी सिक्स प्लस वन सेवेंटी वन पॉइंट थ्री थ्री ओनली दिस वी हैव टू चेंज ओवर हियर वन सेवेंटी वन पॉइंट थ्री थ्री दैट्स इट वी गेट द कटिंग लेंथ एंड द नंबर ऑफ बार्स विल बी द सेम वी गेट द टोटल कटिंग लेंथ एंड वी गॉट द वेट ऑफ स्टील क्वांटिटी सो हियर इफ यू लुक इन टू द वेट ऑफ स्टील क्वांटिटी टोटल वेट इज एटी सेवन पॉइंट सिक्स थ्री फोर के जीज इफ यू वॉन्ट टू गेट द स्टील क्वांटिटी ऑफ एट एम एम एंड सिक्सटीन एम एम बार सेपरेटली वी कैन टेक लाइक दिस वी कैन एड दिस वन वी गॉट द टोटल स्टील क्वांटिटी ऑफ एट एम एम बार दट इज सेवेंटीन के जीज एंड फॉर सिक्सटीन एम एम बार इट इज सेवेंटी के जीज सो टोटली इट इज एटी सेवन के जीज एंड फाइव पर्सेंट वेस्टेजेस वी कैन एड लेट्स एड द वेस्टेजेस सेपरेटली सो इट विल कम एटीन के जीज एंड दिस ऑल्सो वी कैन कॉपी एंड पेस्ट इट ओवर हियर सी इट इज सेवेंटी थ्री इंस्टेड ऑफ सेवेंटी वी गेट सेवेंटी थ्री अराउंड सेवेंटी फोर के जीज इट इज अराउंड एटी के जीज ऑल टूगेदर इट कम्स अराउंड नाइंटी टू के जीज सो इन दिस वे यू हैव टू कैलकुलेट द बार बेंडिंग स्कड्यूल फॉर कॉल अप सो फ्रेंड्स ऐ होप यू आल लाइक दिस वीडियो प्लीज डू कमेंट इन द कमेंट बॉक्स यूर कमेंट्स आर ऑलवेज वेलकम इफ यू लाइक द कंटेंट हिट द लाइक बटन एंड शेयर इट विथ योर फ्रेंड्स डोंट फर्गेट टू सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल फॉर मोर वीडियोज थैंक